Hi, this is Mandy with Scott Leroy Marketing. I want to show you how to create templates within your DocuSign account. Templates help you auto-populate certain information on forms that you commonly use so that you're not always having to manually type in the information. Think about like your name, your office address, your brokerage name, things like that. There are two different types of templates and two different ways to create those templates within DocuSign. One is if you are creating a static form template, and that's if you're using a DocuSign form already provided in your library from either your Market Center or your MLS. The second type would be if you're uploading a custom form into your DocuSign account that's not already within your library. An example of that would be like a builder's contract or something like that. I'll show you how to create both of those and how to apply them. I do want to add the note though, these must be done within your DocuSign account. They are not currently shareable to other agents. So if you're on a team, that team member will need to create their own templates within their own DocuSign account as well. Let's go ahead and log into DocuSign. And I'll show you the first way to create a template, that static data form template, the one where you're using a form already provided in your DocuSign library. So once you're logged into DocuSign, click on your initials in the top right and choose switch to rooms if you need to. You need to be in the DocuSign rooms portion, but sometimes you're already there when you log in. Now that you're in your DocuSign rooms, go ahead and click my documents. scroll down to my forms and choose new template on the right. You can either choose to find the form in a DocuSign form packet or the form library, whichever is easiest for you to locate it. But we'll go ahead and show you the form packet here and show that it gives you the option to choose the particular form packet. It will show the forms in that packet. You can scroll through them or enter a keyword here to help you locate it and just choose the radio button and click use once you locate it. If you chose DocuSign form library, it would show you a list of your libraries that you can choose from to find that form. Again, you can scroll or type in a keyword, choose the radio button beside the form and click use. You can click the pencil at the top to rename this particular template. We do recommend doing that, especially if it's a form you commonly use, but maybe each version is a little different depending on the type of transaction. Maybe it's different if it's a land contract or a resale, or maybe it's different if it's a cash transaction versus a financing transaction. It's good to change the name of the template to something that will be easily recognizable by you at a glance as to which template you should apply for that particular transaction. So go ahead and click the pencil to change the name. And then as you're moving through the document, you can go ahead and enter the information in certain fields that may not change to, from transaction to transaction. It's the same information every time. So maybe for your expiration date, it would be the same number of days every contract. Maybe you will always put the listing on the MLS and always add a lockbox if you know this is like a resale template. So things that would be standard, you can go ahead and fill in or select like broker does have E&O insurance. And especially when you get to fields like with your brokerage information that you know stays the same every time, you can go ahead and enter that in. And your information, like your email. And your phone number. Once you're done filling in the fields that you would like to always populate when you use this template, you can click Save and Close. 
Now, if you ever need to edit that template, you can always find it here under your My Documents tab. Under My Forms, choose to view templates and apply. And then they will appear here and you can always choose on the right hand side to edit, copy or delete. Now to apply this template to a document, you would want to come over to your DocuSign rooms, choose the room you want to use it in, go to your Documents tab, add DocuSign Forms, we're going to choose that library that we were currently looking in. And I'm just going to that particular form so that I can show you how the template shows up. So this was the form that we just created a template for. Once we select that form to add to the room, notice the template drop down that just populated right here. Now I can choose which template I want to apply. So if this were a particular type of transaction like resale, new construction, land, or cash, or financing, whichever preference it is, I would be able to easily find the right template. Excuse me, I would easily be able to find the right template right here, select it, and if you need to preview it, preview it to make sure it's right, and just add to your room. That will automatically apply that template to that particular form. And so when you click that to edit it, it will already have that information populated on it. That's the first way to create a template and apply it within DocuSign. And that's if you're using it just for a DocuSign library form already provided by your Market Center or MLS. If you want to upload a custom form, the steps are a little different. That's called an e-signature template. You would go to your initials in the top right and go to e-signature. You would click templates at the top. Go to start and create a template. You would name your template. Add a description if you need to. Again, a good example of this would be a builder's contract that you may have to have the same information you would fill in a lot um, ac across different transactions and you don't want to have to fill those in manually, but yet they're not already supplied to you through your DocuSign forms since they are particular to each builder. So go ahead and fill in the name and description and then you would upload your document. You can choose upload, choose it from your device and click open. You can upload more than one file for a template. And for recipients, while you may not know your recipient's name or email just yet, you can go ahead and designate their role. So we could put buyer one as a role, add a second recipient and say buyer agent so that your information can go ahead and be populated on the form. For an e-signature template, you do not need to customize the add message information. You will do that when you actually create your envelope and send this to a client. So go ahead and click Next. Now that you're looking at the form in the middle, you can go ahead and add the fields that you want to be created in this template. So we'll go ahead and swap over to Buyer Agent and add a text field for the phone number. And since this is the information that will stay the same, no matter how many times you fill in this template, you'll go ahead and enter that data here. Agent's email, another text field, and enter your email. For your name, you can go ahead and apply your full name and you can swap over to the client or buyer one in this case, add the radio button so that it is clickable by them and they will have to manually click that to select it. And you can go ahead and add a text field for their phone number and for their email. You can resize them if you like. This is the way that they will populate once you apply this template in the future. 
and you can go ahead and grab their signature, add it to that field, and maybe you even want to add a date signed box as well. Okay, once you're done adding all the fields and data that you want to your template, go ahead and click Save and Close. Now, if you ever need to make edits to that template, you will find them right here within eSignature under the Templates tab, and they'll be listed here where you can come to the three dots and choose the action that you want to take. To actually apply this template, you would do so by creating an envelope within your DocuSign Room. So we'll go back to the DocuSign Rooms portion. Go to Rooms. Click the room that you want to use this template in. Go to Documents. And now if you need to select a particular document to create an envelope, you can do that from here or go straight to the Envelopes tab and Create New. Choose to Upload and choose Use a Template. It will show you the screen of your e-signature templates here. You can select which one you want to use. Let's see, this was the last one we just made. And then choose Add Selected. It will show right here. And once you add your signers, Let's go ahead and add a particular signer here. And you can click Next. You can see that those fields automatically populated on this form for you. We didn't choose a buyer um, one to actually sh show or sign in this envelope. So it did not include those fields because we don't need them this time. But since we chose an agent, it populated our information right here and you would move forward with adding any signatures or any other documents you need to that envelope in order to get it signed by your client and send it when you need to. If you have any questions at all about how to create or apply these templates, please reach out to us at support at and we'll be happy to help. Thanks for watching.